What is going on guys, DBG here. And today we're gonna to be talking about who you should buy in the Vortex set and whether or not you should lock in. Because it is important to look at the individual cards, whether or not it's worth it to buy maybe one or two of them, whether or not it's worth it to buy all of them or whether or not it's not, it's worth it to lock in. Because you have to look at the totality of your decisions. Because by the way, these lock-in packs are not equal chance. I don't care what anyone says, they are not equal chance. Like, I've literally, I tweeted out and I was like, looks like Ewing and Dang are coming out of all of them. Um, and as far as I'm aware, no one has ever pulled 100 overall from the packs. And by the looks of things, um, like Tatum, or it looks like Ewing and Dang are almost all of them. Like, um, I'm going to tweet this out. I was like, if you locked in for the Dark Matter, who did you get? So I'm just going to tweet it out. Just getting some odds. But um, yeah, so basically we're going to be looking at these players right here. So these are the players and these are the prices for them all. So you're looking at 52K, I think, for Peyton Watson, 50K for James Jones. You're looking at 42K for Derek Lively. You're looking at 157K for Avita Sabonis and 126K for each of Scoot Henderson and um, JJ Redick. So you're basically looking at like quite a bit of MT. Honestly, quite a bit of MT to lock in this set. It's about 540-ish K, whereas last week was about 520K. So it's a little bit more expensive. And we're going to be looking at these as individuals. So I'm going to be showing off. Um, obviously, you can look at the stats in another video. You can look at the badges and everything. So I'm just going to be explaining. Because I've done I've done a gameplay with every single one of these cards. So I'm going to be explaining really what they're all about. And I'm going to start with the cheapest. And I'm going to go with Derek Lively. So what Derek Lively is, is a mobile center for cheap. He's a big mobile center for cheap that can kind of shoot the three ball. Like in the gameplay, I really struggled. I couldn't hit that three ball. It is a lot harder to shoot online than offline. Offline, I can make 10 in a row because it is one of those slower releases. And if you get a weird catch animation, you're just never making a shot. It's a 66 rated three ball. If you've got some coaches that will boost up the three ball rating, go for it. Like if you have a plus four three point um, coach and you can put a plus four three shoe on him or even like a, um, not even a plus four three shoe, if you can get a plus three three shoe and not waste one of your um, plus four three boosts on him. And then also if you can get like a, um, if you're on current gen as well, you got floor general, but floor general obviously doesn't exist in next gen. But still, you're looking at a kind of unique card. You're basically looking at what Tyson Chandler for 40k. And I don't mind that card. The difference is that he can't really shoot on the break like Chandler because his release isn't as quick. Um, but he's going to offer very similar as far as defense is concerned. I think he's a little bit longer than Chandler. Whereas he's not quite as wide or as broad, but he's that type of a player. He's the not popper, but can hit a wide open if needed. Um, but a really good inside center. And I do think if that three ball was 75, we'd be looking at this card in a completely different way. I think for 42K, you can get better. I still think David Robinson at 36K is a better card than this. Um, but if you're a Mavs fan, if you like Derek Lively, it's not a bad option. You, you can't, like Kessler's better as well, but you can't get that much better than Derek Lively for 42k. Then we're going to be looking at the other pink diamonds. And first up is James Jones. And I hate this card. Like, that release is one of the most annoying releases in the entire game. And you might be saying it looks so fast and you're greening everything. Yeah, yeah. But wait till you step foot online. This is, in my opinion, co JT Thor base is great. Kobe upper is great. This is the one. This is one of those times where if you combine, you can combine a good upper with a good base, and it's just hard to time. Because you have to release earlier than you expect. So I'm greening everything here. My gameplay with this guy was so bad that I'm not uploading it. Just because I was literally like, there's no way I can put this up. The one one big problem with him is that you would think almost like a Corver, that he would be like a Corver type player. Like, oh, he's Curry slide, fast release, 98 three ball. If he even gets slightly contested, and he gets contested by everybody. Like, it's not like Corver where you can just shoot the ball in people's faces and it's gonna say like 5% contest and you can green. No, no, if, if somebody, you see those guys under the basket, they could probably get a yellow contest on this guy from jumping there. 
it's really rough. Like, he's got a nice fadeaway. If you're an offline player, he's good. And also, if you can get used to his release, he's not a bad player. But he's no better than the Amethyst. Like, he's actually not better than the Amethyst. And I, just, I hate to say it, but he's not. If he was, like, significantly better than the Amethyst, if he even played defense, I'd be like, um, go pick him up. Because I don't like his release, but he'd be good. He plays no defense. He's the Amethyst. Pay 5k for the Amethyst. Same card. Same card. There's not enough an upgrade to upgrade that. And then Peyton Watson. Real good. Real good. I don't know about the release. Sometimes I really like it and sometimes I don't. Like, I was the exact same with the last Peyton Watson. There are games where I'll just be open with him and never miss. Because it, it's not slow. But it's just, it is inconsistent off the dribble. When he's wide open, he's good. Like, when he's a wide open shooter, genuinely off the catch, he very rarely will miss. Um, he's got good, he's definitely a tertiary ball handler. He's a pretty good defender. Um, he's got really good length. He's got a good dribble style in Jordan. He does feel a little bit clunky. So it's not like he's going to move with the fluidity of like a Michael Jordan, regardless of his speed. Some guys like Jordan just move differently. Kobe moves differently this year, whereas historically Kobe's moved really badly. Kobe moves very well this year. Um, that's the problem is you can see here, just even his acceleration off the Jordan burst is not fast. But still, I'll say for 50K, you're not getting a better shooting guard for his price. Like you can get better shooting guards than him, but you're looking at around 100K. You're looking at PG for around 100K for the like, the cheapest quote unquote better shooting guard than this guy otherwise not nah, Peyton Watson's probably the best you're gonna get for his price like obviously Wiggins and stuff are better but is he better than like an OG and an OB I don't know like that's the level he's at where it's like I don't know if he's better than OG better offensively worse defensively so for 50k again you're getting a nice player there especially if you have a whole bunch of MT stacked up um but then if you're looking at like the um the um Opals Scoot Henderson shoots the ball like he's like he's a big man like if this was a if he was a big man that release i would say oh it's kind of usable if you're wide open in the corner he shoots the ball like his his upper is basically default big and he's slow i like just look at him look at him running here you can't tell me that this is fast i don't care what his speed stat says everyone's played this game enough to know the speed stat doesn't mean anything when sorry not that it doesn't mean anything it means off the ball sure like, let me just chuck the ball, and let's see how he runs. You know what? Look at how slow he is changing directions. 99 acceleration. He's just clunky. He's clunky. There are certain players, like, speed stat matters to an extent, but, like, a player with good, that isn't clunky with 90 speed will outrun a clunky player with 99 speed. And everyone's done that. Like, we can't just be database merchants. And shout out to Books Nelson for, like, actually, like, coming out and saying that like i've been trying to say it for years but he can obviously articulate his points better than i can because i'm just an angry irish man saying what the first thing that comes into my head about video games but um sometimes cards feel different and he's clunky and you can just see just the way he moves everything he does is slow it literally feels like you're playing with a delay with him and yeah he can dunk really well that's the one thing scoot henderson does real well is that around the basket he dunks he's got incredible animations when you can get that meter up he will dunk really well um, but that's it. That's it. You're looking at, like, paying however much MT for a guy who literally does one thing and it's dunkable. And Steve Francis does the same thing better and he's free. And you're paying a hundred and something K for him. Is it, isn't, like, a 50K, like, ah, I can make that back. A hundred K? You're probably not making that back in a week. And if you're buying this guy with it, good luck. And you know what? This is the worst player I've ever used in the game. I'm not joking. Like, I tweeted out earlier, there are golds better than this guy, and he costs 126 MP. And I mean that. I mean that. Charlie Ward is better than this guy. Charlie Ward is better than this guy. And I mean that. I mean that. One million percent Charlie Ward is better than this guy. Because this is one of the worst releases in the game. You see here, slightly early, slightly early. Like, if you were to look at his release and try to base it on visual cues, you're going to shoot slightly early every time. Or an early. I want you to... Sh I'm going to make this very exaggerated. I want you to see how much longer I'm holding than I should be. That's a late, sorry. 
slightly early. Green. I'm just over exaggerating. Like that's a ridiculously long release, but also look at the fade. How do you ruin normal fade? How do you ruin normal fade? Like I'm better with his release now than I was in the gameplay. But like you can see that doesn't even look like normal. He's like falling out of bounds. Like he's literally, and the worst part is he's clunkier than Scoot Henderson. He's clunky. He's got no dribbling whatsoever. The man can't move. He can't do it behind the back. Oh, I mean, at least he can dunk. He can't even shoot. He can't even shoot. Yeah, if this is a three-point contest, maybe he could shoot. But his release is so bad that you can literally contest him from anywhere. This is the worst Galaxy Opal in the game. And I'm including Isaiah Thomas in that. This guy is a bum. This guy is an absolute scrub. But then you've got Arvidas Sabonis. He's the best guy to come out today. Uh, this guy is has one of the better jump shots in the game. He's 7'6". I'm sorry, he's not 7'6". 7'3", but 7'6 wingspan. He can shoot the leaner. He's got pro dribble style, so he can take that one to two. He can just, he can take that one dribble. He can cross over. So if he's not being respected, he can kind of take that one dribble into the middle and shoot the fade, which can be important for centers. It's an important thing for a center to be able to even just one dribble to the basket, which he actually does quite fast. Um, look, this is, as far as centers go in the game, you've got your Wemby and your Kristaps that I would say are like levels above. And then after your Wemby's and your Kristaps, you've got like the next tier where you go with your like absolutely elite seven foot one-ish players. 6'11 to seven one players that are top tier. So you got your Hakeems, you've got your Dinos, you've got Will Chamberlain, you've got 100 overall Shaq if you're one of the seven people in the world that have him. You've also got, um, I can't even think off the top of my head to be honest. There's a David Robinson in there. Um, and he's right in that tier. He's right in that next tier. And the fact that you can buy him means that like him and Dino, I would put as the two, like those as like the two without question, best purchasable centers. And if you want to go, and it means that you can also play, if you get Bill Russell, you can play the amount of power forward. That's the level this guy is at. And like, I would, I would advise no matter what, who you are, we're not getting a better cent because Mark Eaton exists as well. So Mark Eaton's in that top tier centers as well. Um, we're not going to get a better 7-3 plus center that we can buy for a long, long time. Like, that's just not coming. Unless, like, an 85-speed Peter Goodmanson comes out or something, we're just not. They're not going to nice us like this again. So this is going to be one of those guys where you, he's probably going to sit in your team for the next two months. Because we're not going to get anyone better soon. And I hate to say it. We're not getting anyone better soon. And I wish it wasn't like this, but yeah, it's, it is what it is. And now we're looking at the um, Dark Matters. So you can see here the Galaxy Oval Plus pack. This is not equal chance. Cannot stress this enough, this is not equal chance. So, um, I basically tweeted out, if you locked in a Dark Matter, who did you get? Um, someone trolled and said LeBron it genuinely seems that Tatum Booker Ewing and Lou Aldang you're going to get one of those four I have so far seen no Michael Jordans one Bull Bull and no LeBron James so if you want to get one of the two players that are the GOATs like at this stage, at this stage, everyone's made up their mind and there are enough legitimate arguments for both Michael Jordan and LeBron James that we're just going to keep going in circles and circles and circles until when Benyama somehow, or until when Benyama steps up and he's eventually like hovering in that conversation and then Michael Jordan and LeBron James fans can start go currently can start going at Wemby fans in the future. It's going to be fun. You know, it's going to be fun. But if you want to use a Jordan, you're never, you, I don't think he's in these packs and he may as well not be in these packs, Bull Bull. Um, so you're looking at these cards right here, and as good as Luol Deng is, um, this guy's better than him. Just because just the way the game's played, his build, just the sh way his shot is, he's better than Luol Deng. I'm trying to think of some other guys. Like, and also, OG Ananobi's very comparable to Luol Deng. Like, I don't only really hate Luol Deng. I think he's pretty good. 
but he's very comparable. And Kenyon Martin as well does a lot of things better than Lou Alde. And you're looking at free cards. Like Kenyon Martin, literally, you just, you play an hour, and literally an hour of TT offline with a random ass Nets player and you got Kenyon Martin. So, Dang's pretty decent. Booker, as good as Booker is, he's a pure offensive player and he's not that much better offensively than the Booker for 37k at the start of the year. I definitely think the best option would be just to get the Pink Diamond because the Pink Diamond is 100k if you really want Devin Booker. Tatum, I like Tatum, but he's 3 and D. He's 3 and D. Um, I think eventually Opal Tatum is going to come out. He's going to do something in the playoffs and Opal Tatum is going to come out for quite cheap. And this is the exact same card as Opal Tatum. There is no difference whatsoever. Sorry, there is a difference. You get um, very quick instead of quick, which this year means almost nothing. Um, yeah, that is... That's the thing with that. So is there any use locking in? And Ewing's a bum. Is there any use locking in? No, <laughs> don't lock in. Genuinely don't lock in. Um, for me, if you've got a whole bunch of empty, this is, if you want to look at the cards as a totality, this is probably the best card today. 100 overall LeBron doesn't exist, so let's pretend that card doesn't exist. This is probably the best card you can get today who's nearly impossible to get. This is the second best card. Um, so for me, it's just get some bonus. Don't ignore all of these other four. As much as I don't hate live, I like lively. Kessler's is better. So get yourself Sabonis. And if you don't have enough MT for Sabonis, save up for Sabonis. I can guarantee you Sabonis is going to be better than any card next week for 100k MT. Um, if you get Peyton, I would probably go and get the Deluxe Pack maybe. Try to grind a little bit. Because if you get Peyton Watson, it's a really good card. If you like James Jones, he's not awful if you put a few badges on him. But if you get either of these two guys in the Deluxe Pack, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, they're both two of the worst players I've ever used. Peyton Watson, I would rate at like a an 8 out of 10. I think he's like a, sorry, probably a 7 out of 10 card, 9 out of 10 for his price. I would put rate this guy 9.5 out of 10, 10 out of 10 for his price. 1 out of 10, 2 out of 10 card, 0 out of 10 for his price. 4 out of 10, 1 out of 10 for his price. 5 out of 10... 5 out of 10 for his price, just average, and I'd say probably 6 out of 10 as overall card, and I'd say probably a 7 out of 10 value. When we're looking at these cards here, irrelevant, um, 8.5 out of 10, I think he's, he's better than Peyton Watson, but I don't know how much better he is than Peyton Watson in general. Uh, probably like 9, 9.5, 7 and a half, 8, and 9.5 pushing 10 for like ability in game it's just not worth it it's just not worth it locking in this guy is the only real card that's definitely worth it for you guys and under certain circumstances this guy might be worth it if you're in desperate need of a shooting guard but otherwise nah either buy this card or if you don't have enough mt save up for this card ignore everything else for a while save up for this card it's the only card that's worth anything and he's without question worth it you're gonna he's gonna be your starting center for months more than likely